Hey there everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to talk about what to do with an old Android tablet or phone. A lot of people get new devices every four or five years and the old device which is kind of slow or maybe a little crashy or maybe needs to be plugged in in order to to start it just kind of gets shoved in a drawer and not used. Well there's one usage uh, for an old tablet that's really great and that is putting music on it and using it as an mp3 player. Uh, you can hook it up to your home theater system and it works great and uh, here's how you do it. You want to get an Android charging cable they look kind of like this. They have the standard uh, USB uh, plug on one end and the, the Android USB plug on the other end and uh, you want to plug your tablet into your computer. Now when you do that you're going to want to swipe your Android tablet open uh, so that you're looking at your Android's desktop and you then want to say uh, allow when it asks you if you want to allow the computer to access your Android files and when you do those two things then you can go to this PC on your computer and you can go to uh, Galaxy Tab A or whatever the name of your, your tablet or your phone is and you should see two things here. You should see something that says card and something that says tablet. Um, what you want to do is go out and get a uh, micro SD card. Uh, they kind of look like this. Uh, yeah, that's a micro SD card. Uh, 128 gigs will probably fit most people's music collections. You want to make sure that your tablet can handle 128 gigs. It may only be able to handle 64, in which case that's the micro SD card you should get. So you get one of those, you plug it in your tablet and that's what you're looking at right there. I have a 64 gig uh, card in this tablet right now and as you can see I've used most of it and you don't want to put anything where it says tablet. You want to leave that as empty as possible so your tablet has the best chance of running for a long time without crashing because a lot of these older tablets they're not as stable as they could be. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open where it says card and you're going to want to make a folder that says music. And the way you do that is you right click on the any white space here and then just go to new folder and then name it music. I've already created a music folder on this tablet. So we're just going to open it up by double clicking on it. And as you can see, there are folders with all of my music right there. That's really the end of that step. That's all you need to do. So after you do that, and you can go directly to your, if you're using iTunes on your computer, that's where they are. And usually for most people, you would, if you have a lot of music, that's probably what you're running. So what you're going to do for the next step is you're going to double click on your personal folder, which is right, should be on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, you right click on the desktop, go to personalize, click on themes, click on desktop icon settings and put a check in where it says user files that that really should always be on your desktop so you don't have to go hunting for it and then once it's on there then you double click on it and then you'll see your music folder right here in your personal files and then uh, most people they're probably if they got music like I said they're using iTunes so you open that you double click on iTunes media you double click on music and on this computer all I really have is one album uh, so I'm gonna double click on that and it is uh, the kinks Lola versus power man and the money go round so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to find my kinks folder G H I J O oh, yes um iTunes does organize things by strict alphabetical order so it's the kinks so there they are right there and then I'm gonna see if I already have this in there and it looks like I do not and so I'm going to drag left you put your cursor over the folder or group of folders 
you hold down your left mouse button and drag it over to the Android folder. And it's going to move pretty fast because uh, it's just an MP3. It's not very large. And there it is. Now it's on my uh, now it's on my Android. And when you're done with that, you can close those and then you can disconnect the Android and then you can plug it into your home theater. And I will show you how to do that. Uh, what you're going to need to plug this thing into most home theater systems is an RCA to eighth inch stereo jack. And it looks like this. Uh, on one end, it's got these RCA cables right there, which are these plugs with like the guards around them. And on the other end is like, it looks like a standard headphone jack. They're fairly inexpensive and you know, they come in various lengths. Uh, you just want to get one. I recommend generally, generally four feet should be enough unless you got a weird setup and you might need eight feet. Uh, and they're seven bucks a throw from Amazon, but you could get them anywhere, monoprice, wherever. So you want to have that. And then you want to go plug, plug the RCA jacks into the back of your stereo. And what you do is you find that an input on the back of your stereo. So let's say this is your, your amplifier. Most amplifiers have a somewhat similar setup. So you're going to find inputs. These are your audio inputs right here. And you're going to see there's cable satellite. There's a streaming box like a Roku or something. And it really doesn't matter which one of these you plug it into. Um, most people aren't using CD players anymore, so I'd probably plug it into the CD player thing just because it, it's easy to remember. Most modern amps, you can in fact reprogram all these, but just to keep it simple, if you're not using your CD, plug it in there. Whatever one you're not using, really, you would plug it into. And uh, you would plug in the other end into the headphone jack of the tablet. And then really, it's just a matter of downloading a MP3 player and uh, hitting play and then just selecting the right source on your amp and you're listening to music. I like to use Musicalette. It is pretty good, I guess. It does the job perfectly in a perfectly adequate manner. There's probably a thousand different MP3 players that you can download from the Google Play Store. And this is a great thing to do if you like music and you want to hear the same mp3s that you listen to on your computer if you want to hear them on your home theater system this is a great way to find a new use for old technology so you know you're not just taking a an old tablet or an old phone and just chucking it in the trash um, you know it's good to reuse stuff and this is how I listen to music and it's great like if I'm washing the dishes or something I can just put the thing on shuffle play and you know I got 9,000 mp3s and you know it, it really I prefer it to listening to things like Spotify because it's my music it's exactly what I want to hear and I have enough mp3s I've got like 9,000 of them so I'm never really hearing the same song twice that much uh, and I really recommend doing this. Uh, it's pretty cheap too. It's like seven bucks for the cable, 20 bucks for the card. You got an old tablet lying around or an old phone. And there you go. You can even carry this uh, tablet around with you, carry this phone around with you and plug it into speaker. Most Bluetooth speakers have uh, stereo jack to stereo jack inputs. So if you have um, like a Bluetooth speaker and you want to have portable music, you know, in a speaker, like let's say you want to have like a small get together and you want to have music, there's, uh, you could just get a mail to mail cord. Uh, Amazon has them for like five and a half bucks. And if you get just any old Bluetooth speaker, they're probably going to have an eighth inch input. And uh, if you see the the two rings there, that means this, they're, they're both stereo uh, 
uh, plugs. And you basically just plug one into your tablet, one into the Bluetooth speaker, which, I mean, you can find those at like auto parts stores for like 20 bucks now. And bang, you got portable music you're carrying with you, you know, as long as your, your phone or tablet will hold a charge. And if it won't, you can just, you know, bring your charger with you and set it next to a wall. And then it's plugged in, it's playing music, it's portable. It's really uh, a great alternative to you know to buying some sort of mp3 player uh, or also it's a great alternative to listening to your mp3s from the tinny speaker that's in your phone you know you've got some you got some fairly decent audio quality options for not a lot of money uh, that you can get i for one have a uh, an old ue roll 2 uh, Bluetooth speaker, which sounds great. And then I was in a Riley auto parts store and for 16 bucks, I bought one of these and the Bluetooth isn't that great on this. You can't take the phone too far away from it, but the sound is really good. And, uh, you know, it's a rechargeable Bluetooth speaker with a auxiliary input. So, you know, really anything you get is going to work this way and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope everybody found this video to be helpful and if so please like and share it and please subscribe to my channel and if anybody is in the Memphis, Germantown, Collierville, Cordova, Midtown or Millington area and you need in-home computer repair support please feel free to call me Dave Bensman at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.